Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 16 part video series showing you how to create CP house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click new and then pick architecture template, press OK. And then here, we're going to add in the grid lines. So under your architecture, click on grid line or type in GR. Once you do, let's add in our vertical grid line first. So let's click from below to above, press escape, and then now we created number one grid line. You can now select it, and then you can type in CO or click on this uh, copy command. It's under modify. So click that one and click back the grid line. And then you will need to click on multiple so that you can add multiple grid line. So first, you type in 6800. So 6800. After that, type in 2230. And then lastly, add 3700. So that's the uh, four grid line that we created press escape and then now let's add in horizontal so again type in gr that's for grid line now we're going to add in horizontal and as you can see when we add the horizontal it's number five we're going to change that by clicking on the grid bubble and typing a so that's capital A, and just click on the side or on the empty space. After that, press escape multiple times, and then we could select the grid line and then type in CO, that's the copy command under modify, and then click it again. And then now we're gonna do 6700. Next will be 25, 25. And then lastly, we're going to add 41, 85. So that's our grid line. Now we, need, we just need to clean up. So press escape multiple times. Copy all of them. And then we, dr we are just going to drag it on the middle. Once it's on the middle, now we could just click one of this. And as you can see, there is a dash line that indicates that once we move this one, it will move on everything. So that's a good way and an easy way to move grid lines. And it's all connected. Here, we're going to maintain this um, this distance because we're go going to add dimensions so click on dimension most of the time we put dimension on every grid line like this and then after that the overall we're gonna do the same thing here on every grid line and then an overall so press escape and then escape again so now to follow along, you just need to pause the video and then you will see all the dimensions that we have on our grid line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our south elevation. So from level 1 to level 2, let's click this and then type in 3000. Again. Um, we're going to add in a level 
So a level and then a grid line is different. Um, the level is beside the grid line under architecture and it is LL for short. So we're going to add another grid line at 3000 level. So that will be the 6000. And as you can see, you can e also just click here and then click copy and then you can pull it up and then type in 3000. So that's another way of doing that. But when you do the level, if you notice, once we do a level, the level floor plan will appear immediately. Now, I'm going to do the, the second one that I told you, which is click here, copy, and then if we pull up, for example, 3000 again, level 4, we created a level 4, but it's not shown on the floor plan. So what you need to do is you need to go to view and then plan view, floor plan, and then here it's highlighted already. You just need to press OK and then there we go. So there's multiple ways of creating levels as well. So now we don't need the level 4. So I'm just going to delete that. And as you can see, it will be deleted on the floor plan. We just need this one for now and then we're just gonna put it up like this so that we can add in dimensions later on so we could just clean up a little bit as well so now um, we added our level and now we're going to go to our level one and we're going to start adding walls. So you go to architecture and click on walls. I'm going to use a basic wall generic 200 millimeter. Um, in a newer version of uh, Revit, so Revit 2021 and 2022, uh, I believe that there's no more generic um, um, walls. So you just need to choose, for example, this one. Go to Edit Type, Duplicate, and then this will be, for example, your exterior wall number one. Press OK, Edit, and you just need to delete all of this. So I'm going to delete all of that. So it's basically the same process minus the deletion. So here I'm gonna make this as 150 and then for for this one we're going to go to clad white. Press OK and then OK. So now what you need to check is the connection so you want to connect this to level 2. So from level 1 to level 2, it's already wall center line and it's already chained. So first, let's click on A1 like this, going all the way to A4. Go down to D4 and then go to D3 go up 800 right here just to create an indention so that's 800 from the wall to wall and then here what we could do is we're going to leave this wall right here for now and then click back the wall and we're going around this. This one, it will be around, just click on D2 for now 
press escape and we're gonna pull this back around 400 so what I usually do is I could just click on wall and then just create a parallel wall right here like this and then from here as you can see it create some temporary dimension and from here we could just click I want it to be 400 from this um, the, um, grid line so that's what I did so 400 we just need to clean up so you can type in TR that's trim and extend like that so that's good this one we're going to clean this up later on because we're going to add in a wall so let's leave it like this for now and then now you could do is you could even just clean, uh, click this wall and type in CS that's an easy way of redoing an old um, command or an old selection so now this one is added like this what you can also do is extend this so this will be all the way to D, um, D1 so this will be our carport and it's all extended all the way okay so now what we're gonna do now is we're going to add in our interior wall so we could just click on wall and then let's use the generic wall edit type and then duplicate this will be interior wall number one okay edit this will be 100 and as you can see it's basically the same thing that we did minus the deletions so we didn't de delete anything and we're gonna choose gypsum wallboard press ok and then ok and then ok again so here we're going to extend this but we are not going to connect them yet the reason for that is we need to align the faces here if we connect this it will be harder for us to align the faces it's because this is thinner and this is thicker so because of the thickness of the wall so now i'm typing al that's the align command command under modify this is basically it and then here i already aligned it so what you need to do is type in al click this one and then you want you're basically telling revit that you want to align this one this space to this space now it's aligned you can now click it back and then connect them all together now it's connected so now we could just select this and then type in cs that's create similar i'm just going to close this off and then once we close it we could now select this wall and then it could shift depending on what we want so now i want it to be 2400 so as you can see it moved that's why i wasn't um, worried about the dimensions there and then we need to add in a wall right here so click on the interior wall cs don't connect them yet same idea here because of the thickness of the wall so type in al that's the align command this face to this face press escape and then now connect them all together and you don't have to worry about the indentions of those after that 
click on CS. Just add a wall right here. And then now, press Escape, TR, that's for trim and extend. So now you have an office right here. Press Escape and then type uh, select this wall again, CS. We're just going to add in a wall like this. This is for the um, stairs. So this area is for the stairs. And then here. And then let's add in more walls here. So click on this wall, interior, CS. I'm just going to add a wall like this. And then worry about the dimensions later on. So give me some time. I'm just going to add some walls like this. Okay. And then another wall. So CS. We have another wall right here. This one doesn't need to be like that. So here first, click on this wall. It needs to be on this middle, um, mid of this wall. To this wall, it needs to be 2000. After that, this wall from this wall needs to be 2100. This thickness from here, it needs to be 1050. And then here, 800 is good enough. So now this is the layout of what we created here. Um, we're going to do some, something later on here. And then now, another closet that we're going to add. So I'm just going to select this basic wall, CS. And then let's extend this one like this. But just to an 800. Okay, so something like that. So let's stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.